Gay meteorologist Nate Byrne calmly handles a panic attack on live TV. Nate Byrne, an openly gay meteorologist on ABC News Breakfast, gained global attention after a candid moment on live television. During this week's broadcast, Byrne experienced a panic attack and openly shared his struggle with viewers, saying, quote, Some of you may know that I occasionally get affected by some panic attacks. And actually, that's happening right now, end quote. He immediately handed the show back to co-presenter Lisa Millar, who seamlessly took over the show while Burns commenting, Burns, while commenting on Burns' bravery. She also displayed Burns' 2022 piece on his first panic attack, an ongoing battle with anxiety, adding context to what happened. He soon returned to the broadcast and thanked his colleagues for their support. Burns' openness surely has inspired many dealing with a similar issue. We've got big falls right through that part of the country and uh, we're going to see lots more rain in the days ahead. I'm actually going to need to stop for a second. Um, some of you may know that I occasionally get uh, affected by some panic attacks and actually that's happening right now. Uh, Lisa, maybe uh, I could hand back to you. You certainly can, Nate. Very pleased to say that our wonderful colleague Nate, Nate is back, back with us. With us. Hey, sorry if I gave anybody a bit of a scare there. Yes, it's not really, because you've been very honest before about yeah. getting panic attacks on air. Oh, and it's you know, very brave of him. A lot of people in this world suffer from panic attacks. Mm -hmm. And to be brave enough to allow people to understand what was happening in that moment, I'm sure he changed a lot of lives. Yeah, I like the way uh, the team handled that. I like the way he handled that. I didn't like his hair. I didn't like his outfit. <laughs> I didn't like his shirt. But I liked his attitude. Yeah. yeah. And he probably, he probably got important. a panic attack because of the shirt. Oh. <laughs> Don't blame him for being Australian. Don't blame oh, him for being Australian. Oh, he's Australian? Is that what? Listen, at the end of the day, sharing is caring, just like Cindy Absolutely. said, right? Yeah. Someone watching can be like, wow, look at this Absolutely. meteorologist with this super important job, and, and he weird has haircut. a panic yeah. attack. I had a panic attack this morning. My head's been foggy ever since. Like, I legit really? have not been thinking clearly all day. We can tell oh, him you got dressed. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> what do, what's Trini? What? What's on your mind, honey? I, you know, I, I, to, to be, to be that guy, like, I, you know, I've experienced lots of things being in, in a public position or being on stage or whatever. It's not, I don't know if it's brave. I don't know if that's the word I would use, but, um, I, I think my, the way that I would handle it and, and most of my colleagues that handle these kinds of situations is like, we just kind of seamlessly like throw it to the next person without really making a deal of it. And then, you know, you put it in your memoir, you talk about it later, you know, like, I don't know if that's necessarily the best way to like always inform your audience of like what you're going through at the moment or like, you know, right now I'm really sad because of my divorce or what, you know, or whatever it might be. Yeah. And I understand that it's, a, it's not a divorce. It's, it's a little so, something different, but I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit more of the push through it and like, you know, address it later kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I, I host, my, I host many events and I tell yeah. people like, you know, the people in the audience don't know if you made a mistake. Right? right. They don't know. And if you could just cover it up seamlessly, yeah. they'll never find out, you know. But for him, it was a debilitating moment where he could exactly. not get out of it. Right. Because right. that's Absolutely. what it seemed like where he was like, oh, shit, what do I do? You know, like, I don't know mm -hmm. if I'm going to pass out here or what. Right. So he did the right thing in throwing it over. I would throw for it him. to you, Trini, if yeah. I was in that state. But you probably wouldn't have said like, I, you know, everybody, he I'm did having what he this, did whatever. But that's what he yeah. needed. I'm not well, criticizing it. Like, yeah. I, yeah. that's fine for him to do it. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's other ways to handle it that are also brave and wonderful. You, you don't necessarily need to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe he mm. did.